Daniel Jr., Senior Minister of the Hope Church of Christ. Welcome to this Monday morning's devotion. Let me share God's word with you from the book of Numbers, chapter number 13, and specifically verse number 30. But let me tell you, uh, as a premise, that uh, God wants his people to be blessed. And if you are a child of God, under the sound and the power of my voice, God wants you to be blessed. God wants you to have the abundant life in Christ Jesus. And specifically, when we look at Numbers chapter number 13 and verse number 30 uh, as the pretext, we see that God has sent uh, his spies over to spy out Canaan land. They brought back the report to Moses. They said, surely the land floweth with milk and honey, but they says, nevertheless, there was some buts. There was some doubts about what God had blessed his people with. But the Bible specifically says in 13 and verse number 30 that Caleb silenced the people. He says, let us go up at once, for we are well able to overcome the land. And if I were to give you some points for this message this morning, it would be, number one, when God is getting ready to bless you, when God opens doors for you, there will always be voices of dissension. There will always be doubt. There will always be haters. There will always be people who will tell you that you are not ready, that you are not able, that you cannot have. You got to do just like Caleb. When you're full of faith, when you're full of the Spirit of God, you have to silence the voices. The Bible says, and Caleb silenced the people before Moses. There are these voices that rise up in us from time to time. And they're about voices of doubt. These voices say, yes, it's a good thing, but not for you. Yes, it's your season to be married, but it's not the right person. It's not the right time. Uh, yes, you should be wealthy. Yes, you should be rich. Yes, you should go to the next level in your life, but you are not ready, nor are you prepared. Well, when is it a good time to be blessed by God? Well, the time that God reveals a blessing to you, that's the time for you to be blessed. You're going to have to be just like Caleb. When voices of doubt and dissension rise up in your life, you have to silence those voices. When you have friends and foes around you that are telling you that you can't have it, that you can't do it, that you can't be it, you have to silence those voices. This is an opportunity for you to focus on God's will for your life. Anybody that's not speaking into your life positively and by the will of God, you need to silence those voices in your life. And you have to say to yourself, let us go up at once. Procrastination is a thief. He's always stealing time for us. He's always stealing days from us. And if you're not careful, procrastination will steal your whole entire season from your life. You have to do like Caleb. You have to say, let us go up at once. Once God opens a door, you have to be prepared to walk through your door. It might be scary. It may be intimidating. It may seem overwhelming. But if God be for you, who can be against you? And finally, uh, Caleb says, we are well able to overcome it. What's for you is for you. When God brings you to it, God will bring you through it. God don't call the qualified. God qualifies the call. And if God got a blessing with your name on it, you ought to claim it. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. God wants to see you on the next level. God has abundant blessings for your life. But you're going to have to, number one, silence the voices that don't speak in your direction. Number two, you have to stop procrastinating. Stop making excuses. Stop talking about the giants in the land, who lives where and who's over what. God has those blessings stored up, laid up for you. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man. The things that God has, watch this, prepared for them that love him. God ain't creating no new blessings. Whatever God has for you, God has always had for you. But once God revealed it to you, once God opened the door, you have to be courageous. You have to have the audacity to walk through your doors of blessing. And then finally, you got to believe that if God gives you a blessing, if God gives you a vision, God will also provide the provisions. God will give you everything that you need. Somebody will be right there for you to open the door for you. Somebody will grant the resources. Somebody will have the money. Somebody will have the wherewithal. God will always put people in place to bless you with the blessings that you stand in need of. And I hope, just pray, that child of God, you'll rise up, you'll be blessed, and that you'll claim victory in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Because indeed, God wants his children to be blessed. Till the next time, God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Rise up and be blessed.